you see the 15 Michael Waltrip battling through the tri oval with the checkered flag in the air and about a half a trunk truck leak lead over Elliot Sadler when they cross the strike. You know, Mike has been up in the booth with us for several years now, and we know how much he enjoys broadcasting this <laughs> series, but we know he's always been itching to get out there because, you know, this is one of the things on his resume. He never won a truck race. He hasn't had that many starts, but he hasn't got to victory lane. We always talk about the guys that have won in all three divisions. He's joined them. Well, you know what? He's done something I haven't done. I never won a truck race either. And so uh, that's a that's a great uh, accomplishment on his part. Quite a fraternity. There's only been 22 drivers that have ever won in all three series. Michael Waltrip, the 22nd, to add his name to daughter, that list. Little daughter Macy there. Let's go to victory lane. Chris Devota. Well, Michael Waltrip's barely taking the time to take his helmet off. The first one to the truck, his daughter Macy. She's helping him get out of the car. And he waves the checkered flag. Michael Waltrip is exhausted, elated, <laughs> thankful, and overwhelmed. As we slide into step and talk with Michael Waltrip. Michael, I know you dream big. You've dreamt of a truck win. If you could have scripted it, would it have ever been at Daytona in the 15, 10 years to the day? No, I'm just so thankful. I, think, I, I wanna thank the fans, man. They keep us going and they've just been so good to us. Camping world. This whole truck series. I've been an admirer of it from the speed booth, Krista. I'm just so happy Macy's here. I love her so much. It's just uh, very emotional, and uh, I didn't know I could push Elliot all the way around there, and uh, I did. I was able to do it. I'm just. I didn't know I could do that, and I wouldn't have known if it weren't for Kyle Busch. That's how good he is. He taught me how to win a race. <laughs> I'm just, uh, God bless Dale, you know, and his family and his fans. I came here to celebrate his life with my black truck and my 15 car. Uh, I didn't come to celebrate a win. But um, this feels really good. I'm thankful. Can you describe to the move? You said you were gonna do it exactly the way you did. At what point did you know inside that race truck, I did it again? When I pulled out, I still didn't know because I didn't know how much my truck would bog down. I didn't know if maybe Elliot could tick, tick back inside of me. Uh, I, I didn't know until I saw the checkered and I'm just, uh, I'm just so thankful. I mean, I don't even know those guys. Hi, y'all. I mean, I know Tom and, and Doug and Doug. The thing is, they know you, Michael. They wanted me to drive their truck. And Jerry wants me to drive his car tomorrow. And Bobby Kennedy and those guys at MWR want me to drive on Sunday. And uh, it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for this guy. MWR was up a creek, and uh, Rob showed up with a paddle. And uh, now we got, we got our feet under us, and maybe we could do this on Sunday, too. Macy, how high were you fist pumping and celebrating when you knew your dad won it? We were in the bus screaming. It was so fun. We were all. <laughs> Michael Waltrip has always said, if he's in the race, he feels like he has a chance to win it. The 15 is back in victory lane. 